Hey, what is up everyone? This is Radioactive Fry SNG continuing this playthrough of Sonic Pocket Adventure for the SNK Neo Geo Pocket Color. In the last episode, we went through the first two zones. We went through Neo South Island Zone and Secret Plant Zone and we got the first two Castle Remotes. So today we're going to be getting the next two in line and also going through Cosmic Casino Zone and Aquatic Relic Zone. So before we begin, I'd like to ask y'all to hit that like button. Let's see if we can get this video to 25 likes. If we can do that, that will be highly appreciated. And thank y'all so much for all the support. Uh, the last episode did really well, so I want to thank y'all so much for that. And let's jump right into this. So here we go. Cosmic Casino Zone. I have a lot to say about Cosmic Casino Zone. Because this zone right here, I just remember... I always have this really weird memory about this stage. When YouTube was really still kind of brand new and you'd barely see like gaming videos and stuff. Um, I'd found this game and I didn't know what it was. I just remember being an 8-bit Sonic game and it reminded me a lot of Sonic 2 and 3. So, um, I just remember there being a stage almost exactly like Casino Night, and for the longest I tried to figure out what this game was, and I could not figure it out. And, I don't know, like, for the longest, I thought this game was like Sonic 3 Game Gear, like, I, I just, for some reason, had that embedded in my mind. Maybe it was the person who uploaded the video called it that, but for some reason I was a kid and I was trying to remember exactly what this game was called, and I thought... I, I was like so set on the thought that there was a Sonic 3 Game Gear game and there wasn't. I guess you want to be technical, Triple Trouble's that, but um, yeah, that was just like like years. It took me so long to figure out what this game was. I just remember it looking uh, like a Game Gear game, but a lot better. And years later I found it. I'm really happy about that. So that's just like my little, my little story with this uh, game, like this stage. Every time I seen it, I would always try and figure out what it was. But I didn't know what it was, like, for the longest. I didn't, I could not figure out what this game was. And, yeah. But, uh, Casino. Cosmic Casino. Man. This stage is really, really weird. Um, the only real, I guess, threats on this stage are pretty much, like, spikes and stuff. There's, like, no enemies, if you haven't noticed already. Yeah, watch out for those spikes right there. We're almost at the end of the stage. There's, there's, like, those little spikes right at the end are, like, the only real threat on this stage. And you can lose your ring so easily right there. But, we have our 50 rings and we're going to the special stage, just like that. Bam, 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 yeah. Yeah, so, Cosmic Casino, for whatever reason, does not have any enemies on it. Really, really weird. I could, I like to think that they didn't get to code the enemies in or something. Um, they didn't get to put them in. That's just my, like... Uh, I guess guess of what they did why they're not there. Maybe they just want to go for like that one zone that just had um, Kind of like spikes or something. I don't know. There's no really there's no real way to know if you think about it though The original casino night didn't really have that many enemies it had enemies, but you just forget about them There's like the uh, bumper enemy thing that has like the spring on it But yeah, I already lost rings on this part. I don't know if I'll be able to get it on my first try um, I might have to edit back or something We'll see. Did I get it? Yeah, I did. Okay, cool. Yeah, this, um, from here on out, I think these special stages kind of get a little harder. This one, not, not so much, but, like, the fourth one and going forward, they get noticeably harder. As you can see, the, the, uh, placement of the rings are kind of getting harder. There's a lot more bombs and stuff. They kind of, they literally throw you, they throw you out here. After the first couple, they're like, you, you just have to get so much better at this, and it's almost impossible. And, yeah, um... Oh man, I think I'm too short. No, oh, I am. Okay. So I'm going to meet y'all right back here and get the emerald. So I will be right back. All right, so we are back and we actually have um, the right amount to finish off. We have 150 rings and we are clear. Just like that. Yeah, I got a chaos emerald. Yeah, so as I said, these things get a lot harder. You see me screw up really early in this stage. We have three chaos emeralds and that is awesome. So cool. For whatever reason, the, the, um, I guess order for these emeralds are really weird in this game. Like, they have the red one, like, third, like, the blue one first. What, what's up with that? I don't know. But here we are in Act 2. As I said, um, something really weird to mention about this is, uh, something really, really weird to mention. You can't really tell by this music, but, like, the, um, the first act is Sonic 3's, um, Gumball Machine bonus stage music. Like, when you go, you get 50 rings and go through a checkpoint and you go through like the gumball and get like a power up or something that's what that music was if you didn't catch it and then this music is actually uh from sonic 3 and knuckles or sonic and knuckles whenever you um it's kind of hard to tell but it's like the slot machine uh thing and sonic and knuckles like the, that same exact bonus stage like you get 50 rings in sonic and knuckles and then you go to that 
It's like the slot machine, the, the one that everyone dislikes. <laughs> yeah, but... Yeah, um... Yeah, that's easily probably my most disliked bonus stage in the Sonic series. Literally just because you see it so many times and whatnot. It's so annoying. But, yeah, um... As you can see, there's a lot of gimmicks from, like, uh... What is it? Casino Night Zone. As you can see, we have these little bumpy things right here. They start changing colors. But sadly, they don't give you 5,000 points whenever you step on them, or 500 points. I think it's 500, but I thought it was 5,000, maybe not. Oh, man. You, you see that? that was, that's BS. Like, what's up with that? Uh, another little thing to mention on the stage is um, the phys physics are actually really, really weird. Um, just like in Sonic 4, um, I like to think that, uh, what is it, Casino Street Zone in Sonic 4 was, like, the most obvious zone for, like, exploiting how bad the physics were in that game. And you can kind of, like, the physics are really good in this game. I think they're almost almost exactly like Sonic 2's. But, um, this stage, for whatever reason, kind of, um, I guess since you're going up a lot of uh, steep hills and stuff, the physics get really weird in this game. You can kind of mess around with the physics in this stage. Really, really weird, but, yeah, really short zone, actually, right here. This zone is really, really quick. Um, as always, um, you only get to go to the special stage on the first act, so you don't have to really worry about collecting rings to go to the special stage on the second act, because you're going to be facing off with the boss anyway, so just keep that in mind. I'm probably going to mention that in every episode, just to, like, let people know, but, yeah. Alright, here we go, on to the boss. I don't know what the names of these bosses are, but this boss is, uh, pretty easy. It reminds me, actually, a lot of that Sonic 4 boss, where, um, in the Casino Street Zone, I know, let me know if I'm not the only person who thinks of that. Like, whenever, oh my god. <laughs> okay, let me get up here, because this is actually, like, the safe spot to kill this enemy. You're so safe up here. You're so safe, he does never, like, bounce right here. But, yeah, you just kind of bounce on his head. Are you kidding me? What are you doing? Eggman, you're not supposed to do that. Oh, man, I hope I don't die of this boss. This boss is so, it's so easy, and I might die on it, because I have no rings. Stupid. Okay, here we go. Now we're getting down to business. Yeah, after a few hits, uh, Eggman decides he wants to start checking his his uh, Eggmobile. You can see he kind of looks around and stuff. Like, is my Eggmobile still right? Oh, man. Okay. He kind of faked me out there that time. Let's see. Let's see. Where is he? Where is he? Where is he? Where is he? You got to watch out. He might come from up top. Bam. There we go. He got killed. He's, he's really easy. I don't find him hard. As you've seen, I just kind of did it without having any rings. So it's not hard at all. But there we go. We have done the first, we have done Casino, uh, Cosmic Casino Zone. Ba, 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 yeah. Alright, we are in Aquatic Relic Zone. So, one little weird thing I want to mention about this stage is, um, I'll probably put up, like, a picture or something. But there's, like, for whatever reason, there's, like, an Eggman, uh, there's, like, an Eggman picture, just, like, an Easter egg, and then I think there's a Metal Sonic? I don't remember, I think it tells an Eggman, I don't remember. But it's, like, Eggman and someone. I'm just, like randomly placed and you probably will never find it it's just kind of like a weird thing they added but this zone right here is uh actually pretty tricky as you can hear we have the marble garden music right here and <laughs> oh wait actually it's a hydrosity zone what am i saying yeah but um this zone is actually really really tricky just like um what is it aquatic ruin zone from sonic 2 it's really tricky. As you can see, we have like those stupid fly enemies that kind of chase you around and whatnot. Actually, we need to get some rings because I might... I don't know. We're moving really fast and we haven't gotten any rings. But this zone is really hard to get 50 rings on because you constantly have these stupid things right here that take your rings. So you're going to more than likely take a couple runs to get 50 rings on it. I know it's going to happen to me, so... I'm just going to kind of enjoy this stage right now. And as you can see, there is water on this stage. Um... And there is, like, the timer if you run out of rings and whatnot. Oh, man, we ran out of time. We ran, we reached the end of the stage. Well, I'll meet y'all right back here with 50 rings, so be right back. All right, we are back with 50 rings, and we're good to go. So we're going to the next special stage. And, uh, yeah, let's see. This one, like I said, gets a lot harder. Um, my first little test run, I was having a lot of problems with this one. It's not really hard, it's just really specific. You, They give you an exact amount of rings you need to get, and you have to be really on your toes. So just be careful for that. This one is noticeably harder though, and I missed those rings up there. Here we go. Mm, give me these rings. Yeah, th they get noticeably harder from here on out. Uh, I think, if I remember, like the fifth and the sixth are actually easier than this one. Like, just kind of like the uh, gimmicks and stuff. 
they make it e they make it harder to get the rings on this one. At least to me. That's just how I remember playing this game. But yeah, we're good. Cool. I didn't want to like not have enough rings on the first run right here. That would suck. I'm not that bad at these special stages. Oh man, that's what I hate. It's like these really awkward uh, uh, ring placements right here. Here we go. Here we go. It's like you never know if like bombs are gonna appear or the rings, and I just never remember where they're gonna appear. So yeah, you gotta be careful. Really, really challenging special stage right here. Oh, here we go. Gotta grab these right here. What? Dude, I never came down. What? Alright. Alright, let's get these. And we have 80. Sweet. Right, let's get as many rings as possible. Because if I remember, this is when this uh, special stage get, gets a lot harder. We need 60 rings before we can end off here. Oh, man. We need a lot of rings. But here we go. Here we go. We're doing good. We're doing good. Here we go. rings all right awesome maybe it was the fifth one I'm thinking of why did these get like really hard I might be thinking of the fifth one oh I missed it continue too bad I don't really need those all right uh, 128 <laughs> okay I thought that was the end of it I was gonna say are you kidding me they did not give me nearly enough rings to like make that ah uh, but uh, okay oh man really really good run Considering it took me like five tries before on my test run, and I got on my first try. Awesome. Give me that emerald. And it's a yellow emerald. I'm trying to think. Is there a yellow emerald? I think there is. Uh, I think it's actually like the first one, usually in Sonic games. Or I'm thinking the green one is the first one. I can't really remember right now. But there we go. Got four emeralds. We only need two more. The next episode, we're going to get the last two Chaos Emeralds. And then get the last one from Eggman. So, yeah. Now, in this uh, in this zone, we're going to be facing off with a boss that actually has another Emerald for us. But you're going to see what happens. Also, this stage right here is a lot like um, Act 2 of Aquatic Ruin. Like, they're going to try and test your platforming abilities. You screw up once, you fall in the water, it becomes impossible to come back up from. And, uh, yeah, it's just like, I like the little reference right there. Like, I never did find the water sections of Aquatic Ruin to be too hard, except when I was a kid. But, um, yeah, if you use down the most top routes and you use good platforming skill, you won't ever have to touch the water. You won't have to worry about drowning. And these stupid enemies right here, I hate these things. Can't believe they bought those back. They're, like, the most annoying enemy, besides these flies on this stage. Alright, there we go. Just kind of flying over everything right now, looking good. As you can hear, we have, uh, <laughs> are you kidding me? Watch out right there. Yeah, as you can hear, we have Hydrocity Zone right here. Looking good. Am I the only person who likes Act 1 Hydrocity Zone music more than Act 2? And here we go, getting into it with with Knuckles. Okay. So it looks like we have ourselves the boss fight from uh, Sonic 3 and Knuckles. And we lost our rings already. What? Yeah, so it's basically the exact same fight. You're basically, um, same exact patterns. You're just letting... Okay, he does that. He does a double attack thing right there. But this boss is way too easy. You just kind of let him do his thing. Really easy. Right, here we go. Yeah, this music right here is, uh... Yeah, oh man, I'm trying to think what it is. I'm having, like... I think it's, um... Man, what's that music? Hydrocity's on Act 2. I couldn't put my finger on it. But that's what it is. Okay, okay, okay. Get a wreck, Knuckles. Okay, looking good, looking good. Gotta watch out. Bam! And he is defeated. And he drops an emerald for us. So that pretty much wraps it up for this video. I hope y'all enjoyed. If you did, be sure to hit that like button. And we have ourselves a little cutscene right here. We have ourselves another emerald. I don't know what Sonic's doing here. It looks like he has a Chaos Emerald for Knuckles. He's like, hey man, I beat your butt. But here's your Chaos Emerald back. And Eggman takes it. And I want to know, let me know what y'all think is happening here, because I'm really confused. Yeah, it looks like Knuckles uppercut Sonic into space, or like into the sky. It doesn't really make any sense. Here we go, woo! And Sonic's like, man, what the heck just happened? He like looks down at Knuckles like, whoo, that was a hard battle. But we're going to end off right here. We're, next time we'll be going through Sky Chase Zone and some other fun stuff. So I hope y'all enjoyed. If you did, be sure to hit that like button. And until then... Peace out. You have a good night.